What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I kind of wanted to talk about something that was mentioned during the campfire live chat stream. And let me go over to uh, right over here to the developer update here. And Adam Fletcher tweeted out, they forgot to mention this. Uh, last season they had a thing where you could progress through the seasonal journey. You would begin to receive class specific legendaries to formulate a build. So in season five, okay, we got themes for each class. Barbarian's gonna have weapon swapping and knockback. Druid's going to have Cataclysm and Companions, and then Necro's going to have Bone Spirit slash Prison, Bone Prison, Bone Spirit slash Bone Golem. Sork is going to have Chain Lightning and Mana, which is going to be exciting. I'm going to be playing Sork. And then Rogue has got Flurry and Dark Shroud slash Mobility. Rogue's actually is going to be really, really good at the start, too, because I think the Dark Shroud Flurry stuff is going to be pretty sick for Rogue. But so we got these these different themes for these classes this kind of plays on diablo 3's um you know class sets that you would get you know once you completed the seasonal journey the only difference with these is is that instead of them being tied to the seasonal journey um i mean like it is to the seasonal journey but i also want to mention that like you get these as you progress through the seasonal journey so when you come up here and you like go to your you right go to seasonal journey claim all my rewards go to seasonal journey so as you're going through here and you're getting these, these uh, caches are going to drop basically legendary powers that will be correlated with those different sets. But because each season is also going to be having their version of what, you know, like the, the seasonal quest line. So the mother's gift is what's the seasonal quest line is going to be in uh season five so but they're changing it so in the places that you can actually earn the points for this as opposed to just helltide like we had in season four but as you're progressing through these these mother's glyphs or this like progression tree or whatever you want to call it um the you'll still get these caches to drop and you'll still get the rewards from them too just like you do here on the wolf's honor tree so every time i was raking up like when when these items would drop these legendary items or the the caches like when these things would drop i would get items for my build so it was also tied into this i don't know if if the devs meant to do that but that's how it worked in season four so i'm only assuming that that's how it's going to work in season five but everything will be through your seasonal journey excuse me wrong thing through your seasonal journey so as you're getting these caches okay each time you go up, you're going to be getting stuff for your particular class set build, which I think is great. It's a really good way to like get your build going and then start off with something that you can use and level up and progress with, which I think is really cool. It's very, very similar to the uh, Hadred's gifts that you get in Diablo 3. It's literally the same thing, which I do think it's very cool. It gives you a baseline to start with, so that way you're not kind of just like... Oh crap, what do I do with all this stuff? What am I like what am I going to play? I don't know. So a good example of this is when I was on Sork in this season, every time I would turn in <clears throat> my Wolf's Honor, I kept getting stuff dropped for Incinerate. So all I did was I just played Incinerate. I was playing Firewall. I literally just transitioned into full Incinerate because that was all the items that I got. I don't remember what the class sets were for last season, but I got a bunch of incinerate stuff, so I'm assuming that's what the class set was for uh, for Sork. And then that's what I used all the way until I was about 70. And then I swapped over to like my end game build once I got all the other powers. But that literally carried me all the way to 70. So I do really like that they're continuing to do these like class set things. I think it's really, really cool that these are here. I'm really curious. Uh, the only thing that we don't know is which powers exactly are we going to be getting uh for these like sets right like which exact powers are we going to get they have not listed which ones those are even in the patch notes that were released so we didn't get any of that but a lot of people are pretty happy about this um it it's pretty cool yeah see it's the same thing as diablo 3. it's it's really really nice that um I even commented, I enjoyed it last season. I thought it was awesome. So I think they need to continue to do this and uh, maybe just like let us know which ones drop. It seems to be a little random at times, but uh, like maybe it's just like one power out of the four that you could use for incinerate. Um, but, oop, wrong thing. 
in my magic deck. Uh, but then when you're progressing through here, all these different caches also have the potential to drop those. So I just wanted to highlight this. I think these class sets are going to be really, really cool um, for players to use. And I hope that Diablo continues to do them because I think it's a great way, especially for new players that keep coming into the game. So I wanted to make this quick little video, guys, about uh, the class sets. I think it's really, really great. Each time they drop, you're getting like two to three. And it just seemed like one of them was the power, like one of them was a power for it. So uh, I'm not really sure how many they're actually going to give us again. It's most likely like three to five different uh, powers that you will get um, for whatever the class build is going to be. Um, with Chain Lightning, we can assume a lot of things. Um, in here, if we if we like go back to Adam and then we go over to uh, the patch notes here, like we we can assume that a lot of them are going to be um, if we find the patch notes. Like a lot of them, a lot of them are probably correlated to the new items that we're gonna get. So when you come over here to the patch notes, like you can assume that a lot of this stuff is gonna be correlated, right? So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, like we're probably gonna get a lot of powers that correlate to builds that you can use for your class. So if I let me let me scroll up and find Sork real quick. Uh, if I can just close some of these. Oh, this is Sorceress right here. Nope, that's not Sorceress. That's gen that's uh, Druid stuff. Multi-class. Multi-class. Yeah, so with Sork, when you come down and see all that stuff for Chain Lightning, a lot of it is going to be correlated to the, uh, the new unique or like head towards that. However, I would love to see some bouncy, bouncy fireball stuff in there, but... A lot of the powers are going to be correlated to a particular build that you can run at the end game, which I think is is pretty cool. It's more than just the leveling, um, and some of it's multi-class, which is sweet. So, yeah, man, I hope Diablo keeps these in here, guys. Really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to, to like the video, comment down. Let me know what you guys think about the class sets, and if that's something you guys want to see more of, and, you know, do you guys want to see like a list of particular powers that you are going to get from the dev so that way you guys can kind of build around it that would be really really sweet so uh yeah comment down below let me know guys don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace